Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Startup CEO Vlog or My Life. I am the co-founder and CEO of Digzy AI. So Digzy.ai, in case you guys are wondering. I want to talk today about <laughs> something that I've been researching and uh, talking to a lot of my friends about, and it's uh, the iPad and the iPad Pro. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about the decline in iPad sales and all this stuff, and they're wishing for it to uh, to do more than what it does. But what is the iPad really? Think about that. Um, most people tend to position the iPad uh, versus the Surface. Uh, but I've asked many, many people about the Surface, and they love it. It's fantastic. It's very portable, has a nice keyboard. Some of them wish it had a little bit more power than it does, but I, for them it works pretty well. Um, but the main thing is, I have asked them how many times they use it as a tablet, and the answer is zero. Uh, the Surface is actually a very, very good laptop. It is not a tablet. In fact, many people who have it, um, I've talked to them, and what they've told me is that uh, the support of Microsoft for a tablet is actually not really good. In fact, when you use Internet Explorer, um, it's really, really complicated to do a lot of things, so it doesn't act like an iPad. And if you were to grab an iPad, for example, uh, and I've struggled with this myself. As a startup CEO, I want to be able to do a lot of things with a very, very portable device. Uh, but when you come and face it and you do a lot of research, the iPad is nothing more than a giant iPhone. That is it. <laughs> and the iPad Pro, you can attach a keyboard to it, and you can attach keyboards to other iPads as well. Um, but the reality is, is that um, it's simply not more than just a gigantic iPhone with a with with, with a keyboard. So if you find yourself uh, with things that you aren't able to do on your phone that you prefer to do at your desktop, for example, creating documents and things like that, and a small screen is kind of hard, especially, I have an iPhone Plus, but it's just still uncomfortable. I gotta squint quite a bit to see the words. It's just not done for that. And it's nice on an iPad to have a giant screen, but if you need to copy and paste, uh, format text, um, you know, if you're marketing, you wanna create trackable links to be able to attribute your sources of traffic to a specific source, uh, or a specific campaign, it just doesn't do it. Um, it's just not easy, copy and paste sucks. Um, the keyboard makes it easier, um, but really it's just <laughs> it's just a giant iPhone. So um, some of the things that would be nice on an iPad would be, hey, if you can you know, have mouse control, uh, but really it comes down to the OS. Um, uh, multitasking is not that great. Um, it's fantastic if you're watching movies, YouTube videos, if you're doing a little bit of light sharing. Uh, if you're typing with a keyboard, great. Um, however, still kind of small because I've got the 9.7 inch. I don't have the 12.9 inch. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the one thing is, you know, in, you know, we do a lot of sales stuff, sales software. So we have a lot of, or I personally do have a lot of add-ons on my Google Chrome. And you just can't get that kind of functionality. Um, but you know, when I'm in a plane, I want to respond to some few emails that don't need tracking and I don't need to do a lot of stuff. The iPad's great for that. Um, so what I found myself, uh, looking at the iPad is the iPad's nothing more. If I, if it's something that I wouldn't do on my phone that I need to do on my desktop, I probably won't do it on an iPad. Uh, so the iPad until the OS changes and everything else, um, it's really just a gigantic phone <laughs> with really good speakers on the iPad Pro. Uh, and a big screen. So it works well for things that you're sitting on the couch doing on the phone and things like that. And you just wish you had a larger size screen so you don't have to squint, especially now that I'm getting older, you know. Um, you know, my eyesight kind of sucks. I've got contacts on right now. Uh, but yeah. Um, and I don't think that Apple should really uh, try to make it a desktop. Um, if they do make it a desktop, it'd be nice to be able to have some power functions. Uh, to make it like that. But the file system needs to change. You need to be able to have one centralized place where you have a finder or you have something like Internet, or not Internet, but uh, Windows Explorer and things like that. Um, but I see the iPad as a something, just like what Steve Jobs said, something in between the phone and the desktop. Something that gives me a better screen. I can do email a little bit with more flexibility and things like that. But if it's something that, like video editing, I've tried video editing on iMovie and it's just horrible. So there you have it. Uh, those are my opinions on the iPad Pro and the iPad in general right now. Um, and now that I understand, I've come to full terms. I don't wish it to be anything else. It's just an iPad.
gigantic iPhone with some added benefit of the Apple Pencil and uh, so until next time, uh, those are my thoughts. Uh, you can leave your hate comments down here if you want to see some more opinions. And uh, I post videos on what it's like to run a tech startup. And, you know, you can see our office and things like that. Be sure to subscribe because this is really fun. And at least you get some glimpses into our lives and what it's like running a technology company and the thoughts that lurk in the back of my head uh, with technology. Thank you so much.